Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today I have something a little bit special for us. This is La Regia Fabrica de Armi de Terni le E le Su Armi by Aldebrano Michelli. This thing. This is about a 12 pound book, which means it weighs approximately twice as much as that Tyranny manufactured carbine right there. Now, the only way that I am able to run Forgotten Weapons and do what I do is to have a pretty large reference library at my disposal. And as a result, I tend to pick up gun-related books whenever I find them, even if they're in languages other than English that I can't read, because you never know. First off, I think that it won't be too many years in the future before I'm able to point my cell phone at any language in the world and have it spit back English at me that I can read. Now, you'll see in a minute that's not going to happen on this book anytime soon. But um, So I don't shy away from buying books in languages that I can't read. Technology is a wonderful thing. Um, I also am always interested in the illustrations. You can often get quite a lot, even if it's something as simple as being able to identify a designation of a gun by having an illustration of it. Because oftentimes if you can figure out what the designation is, thanks to the miracle of the internet and our, our, intercommunicated, our interconnected communications, once you know the designation it becomes a lot easier to find information. So those are the reasons why I buy weird expensive books like this one. And this one is so unique that I wanted to show it to you guys. So I'm just going to take it right over to the table and uh, continue describing it while we actually look at it. All right, so beyond being nine, literally 900 pages long and all in Italian, what makes this book stand out as, as so odd? Well, the first thing is that script. The entire book is, is written out longhand. Apparently the author took some four years to write this thing, and it's all longhand. So um, what this book does is cover, well, pretty much everything about tyranny. Terni was the city that housed one of Italy's main arsenals. Uh, and so you can see here some pictures, some present day pictures of some of the arsenal facilities. Uh, this covers, well, as you can see here, um, at least back to the 1850s, and then comes up through World War I and World War II. And it covers the history of the city, the history of the arsenal itself. So here we have some of the World War I production. Um, it talks about tooling, it talks about the machinery. Uh, this was not just a rifle factory, this was a huge uh, armaments, industrial armaments powerhouse here. So, so I can pick up every a word every once in a while. We got some First World War stuff here. Uh, chapter two, the factory itself. So enough of the city. Got building plans, uh, models of the facilities, some pictures of the facilities, wartime production pictures. We're gonna. This book gets more interesting the farther we go through it. So stick with me here. Um, let's, see, let's keep going. Here's some more slightly more modern production. people involved. The, a lot of the illustrations, by the way, some are old photographs, some are new photographs. A lot of them are hand-painted illustrations, like these illustrations of the Terni Museum. We have some reproduced documents, former directors of the arsenal. Here we go. Now we're going to get into some of the actual guns that were produced at Terni. So these are yeah, the guns, chapter 3. Uh, these are reproduced from some original Italian documents. But then we have the Vetterli and all sorts of interesting stuff about the Vetterli and its many variations. Note the, some more of the hand-painted illustrations. Uh, some more different versions of the Vetterli. Here we have the progression of Italian standard service rifles, starting with the Needle Fire Carcano, which I will actually have a video on coming up fairly shortly, and then the Vetterli, the Vetterli Vitali, and the Centerfire Carcano. 
Uh, there's a lot in here on, on the actual machine tooling that was used to produce these guns, and that's, that's I know, a, a pretty specialized sort of area of interest for people, but the sort of people that are interested in buying a book like this are probably fairly likely to be the people who are interested in the actual machine tools that went into production of some of these guns. Now here we have the tromboncino, the grenade launcher attached to the side of a Carcano carbine. So a whole bunch, we've obviously gotten into the chapter on the Carcanos, have a section on the Balila, uh, which are the, uh, the reduced caliber, let's see where we have some of that, yeah, basically small scale ones, uh, and then snipers. This is, you know, this sort of thing, for example, is information that's very difficult to find anywhere on, it, on Carcano snipers. So, like I said, as we get farther through this, it gets more and more interesting. Uh, bayonets, more Carcanos, uh, section on ammunition, rifle grenades, accessories, anti-aircraft sites for the rifles, um, pictures of the museum, we have parts for manuals, we have some of the machine gun stuff, uh, various, I believe, lists of gauges, experimental arms, now we're getting into some really neat stuff here. So some experimental bolt actions. We're going to get to. There's an experimental repeating system. Machine guns. Semi-auto conversions of bolt action rifles. We actually looked at one of these. I looked at one of these at Beretta's museum a while back. Uh, the Terni machine gun. These, all sorts of just really cool stuff once we get to the very back of the book here. Total is just over 900 pages. All right, well if you are an Italian speaking or reading uh, small arms enthusiast, I think this would definitely be a cool book to have. I have no doubt, given the depth of the content in the illustrations, that the text is Man, I have a hard time holding this thing up. That is a heavy book. Anyway, I have no doubt that the text is full of really good information. Um, to me, <laughs> while it's an expensive book, this thing is more than just a book. It really is a cool piece, uh, a cool curio by itself, just because of the way it's written, and also one that has a bunch of you know, informational value to it as well. So I have a link in the description text below to Amazon.it where you can pick this up. It is available from a variety of other small sellers. Obviously nobody is stocking a book like this in huge quantity. Uh, the price varies seller to seller, but comes out about 150 bucks once you include shipping. Um, a little more some places, a little less somewhere, some other places. So. Uh, if you're interested in it, by all means pick up a copy once you know what you're getting. Um, I don't expect a lot of people are going to, but I thought it would be cool to look at a book that is as honestly as weird and obscure as some of the guns that we take a look at regularly on the channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching.